Hi y'all, this is Derek Ralston with Photography by Derek Ralston. For those of you that have been following my trials and tribulations of building a studio on the forum, I'm about to give you a video tour of my shooting space. I'd love to give you a video tour of the lobby and the uh, projection room, but they're not quite done yet, even though we're open for business. We still have a little decorating to do, hanging some pictures, and uh, tidying up. But I'll give you a tour of the camera room. Just follow me. This is a Beta 1.0 version of my camera room. Uh, almost everything is only temporarily mounted, just in case I don't like the way that uh, it all turns out. This is my view from the uh, back of the shooting lane towards the main wall. To give you a little bit of perspective, those are 12 foot alicores that are hanging up there on the uh, four expand drive system from the ceiling. So. That'll give you a little bit more uh, perspective on how large the area is. From here I have my Bogan Super Salon camera stand. Love it to death. And uh, my, some of my uh, light stands. Move a little closer. This is the oak floor. It's just a rollout vinyl floor from uh, Home Depot. A remnant I picked up for 75 bucks or so. When I shoot dancers, I can pull this up. It's just taped down, roll out a black or a gray dance floor, and uh, go to town. Up in the ceiling there also are mounted two Alien B 1600s uh, that work really well for high key. Uh, you can refocus them and use them for a background light if required. Uh, that's the only time I would have to run up onto a ladder to refocus them because I have the light gear. LG4X controller here on the wall that controls their intensity and uh, the modeling light. So that works out really well. All the walls are 18% gray, matched at Home Depot, and they did a really good job with that. One of the problems I'm facing right now is storage for soft boxes and all of that other kind of muck. So i uh, got to figure out where everything goes. Like I said, this is Beta 1.0. This is a second uh, area that's a nine foot uh, set of alloy cores on expand drives on auto poles uh, configured to do three quarter length uh, or headshots. And back here in the corner is a, a portable backdrop system with a, a Silver Lake uh, backdrop hanging from it uh, for just kind of quickie headshots. So right now I have three areas that I can use. I don't think I'm going to keep this area back here like this. I'd like to put a set back here uh, so I can have basically a swing to shoot my main area, a three-quarter three length area, and then a set area. So uh, it'll be pretty easy just to spin the lights around, spin the camera around, and, uh, and take those shots. Uh, safe in the back, of course, for anything that's uh, left behind. That's bolted into the concrete and bolted into the wall. It's not going anywhere. For those of you who followed the post, this is my storage for drops. There's 21 drops up there, I believe, uh, that are uh, waiting uh, homes and uh, are just in storage. And kind of figured it was a good place to mount strip boxes. So those strip boxes are hung off of the ends of those uh, brackets. The brackets have a hole in the end of it, just threaded a uh, bungee ball through there and whip it around the uh, edge of the mount and they're good to go. Once again here is the uh, mount of the expand drives in the drop ceiling. Three quarter inch plywood, quarter inch rods going up to the stringers holding everything up. It is extremely solid. Well, that's my shooting space for right now. Like I said, beta 1.0. We'll see what it ends up morphing into, but for right now, it's a good space for me. It's exciting because I haven't had a space to call my own before. See you on the forums. Thanks for joining me.